In this video, we're going to create an uninstallation script for Google Chrome in uh, CMD format for the MSI installer. So we see here it's installed. So in order to find the uninstallation string, and we did this in the previous video, so we're going to redo the same for Firefox. So let's take it from the registry. So we go to regedit. Yes. And if you followed along with uh, Firefox, we created a favorite here where we can go directly to uninstall. But if you didn't, don't worry, we're going to do it again here. So it's installed on the machine. So it's under HK local machine, software. And here at software, you have to take in consideration that if it's a 32-bit software that you installed, you have to go under Windows on Windows 6432 node or the WoW 6432 node. But we actually installed a 64-bit software, which is the recommended. So we don't go down this path. So we go under Microsoft. So I'll click up here. So it update the, the bar to correct Microsoft and then we're going to go Windows that's going to be far back in the alphabet so we're going to go down far Windows under Windows and I click up here oh I have to click Windows and then current version and under current version we have to go to uninstall that's also very back in the alphabet so it's going to be at the end uninstall here we have all the 64-bit software uh, uninstall commands that are showing up here in uh, App and Features. So MSI software show up with their GUID, and I don't know this by heart. Actually, I know the Chrome one starts with 61. But let's do a search with Control F, and then type Chrome. And then we're going to search for Chrome. And here it starts with 61, and this is the Google Chrome. So here in the registry, there is something called the uninstall string down here that have the string that will run if you would manually type here uh, uninstall. Then it actually go to the registry and call this line here. And this line is not silent, by the way, so we will have to make some uh, adjustment to this to make it silent. If not, the user have to do next, next. And in Intune, you always want it uh, silent. So let's, uh, I'll copy this one, Control C. And then let's open your favorite uh, text editor for script. It can be Visual Studio Code, it can be Atom, uh, or whatever you want. I'm gonna use Notepad++. Let's paste this command that we took from the registry. And we're going to modify this one to make it silent. Let's just first put some uh, comments. And first of all, I'm going to save this file so we get um, uh, uh, some extra features from the um, uh, Notepad++, some formatting. So Control S. And then we go to our source folder, which is under C Intune, Google, Google Chrome, and the source and change save type to uh, all types and then we see all and I'm going to be lazy here and click on the install script because we're going to have the exactly same name except that instead of saying install it's uninstalled and since we're using this GUID here starting with 61 ending with 7b it only works for this specific version so I'm going to save it as that so now we get uh, some uh, formatting so let's put purpose uninstall google Chrome and the version. I hope I still have it in my Windows V. Um, I do. It's the last one here. And it's a 64 bit. Then we can put rem author. That's me in this case. Up. And <clears throat> I like to put the date 11th August 2021. And then we can say rem uninstall Google Chrome. And this is the command. And again, here, if we don't add anything, it will not be silent. But if we add a forward slash QN, doesn't have to be capital, then it's going to be quiet and no GUID. I like to add a log that's optional, forward slash L. And I'm going to log it on C colon backslash program data backslash and my own folder gbn logs and then i'm gonna name the log file uninstall no space google chrome let's see if i can paste the um, version is it there yes x64 dot log that's not 64 
that's 64. Okay, the problem here is if this folder don't exist, doesn't exist, the GBM logs, the whole uninstallation will fail. So let's earlier in the script make sure that this folder actually exists. I'm going to REM, not the music group, and make sure folder exists. And then we can, if not exist, if this folder doesn't exist, mkr dear make director make it so it does exist okay perfect this should work let's save this um just verify that we have it here we do what could be good is to have google chrome started to verify that it works even if started if it doesn't work to uninstall when started we will have to add uh, something to a task kill to kill the process first so we are sure it's not there so let's try and see if this works. I'm going to open Windows Explorer, going to C, Intune, and our Google folder and our source. And here we have our uninstalled script. I'm going to right click on it and run as administrator. Always need to run as administrator. If not, you don't have permission to uninstall. So let's see if that works and hit yes. It's running. It did work even though it was started It actually killed Chrome. It's gone now. So we don't have to do anything extra to remove it. Bad user experience though, if they are on Google Chrome and you are uninstalling while they are working, but technically it works. Okay, so Google Chrome is gone. And we can see that also if we do Chrome, it's gone. We can't start it. So the script worked very well. We can even look at our log file do we still have the path? See program data logs? Yes, we have the install log from earlier and uninstall. So if we click on that and go to the very end, notepad is not the best log reader. It says removal success or error status, I'm sorry, zero. And zero is success. So all good. So very well done. This worked real good. Thanks very much.